Hey everybody, it's your boy, Good Boy. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what my next steps are as a YouTuber and as a online presence personality uh, and uh, and all that good stuff. Um, so, uh, ever wondered what's going to happen next with Good Boy? I'm going to bear all very, very shortly. Bloody fantastic. Now, uh, before we begin the uh, crux of the video, I would like to share with you my sponsor. Now, I know it's just like, oh, good boy, please, no more sponsors. But there is a good reason why I have a Skillshare are awesome and their product is great, but also they help sponsor my videos. So please bear with me on something that genuinely you will like, and I totally believe that you are better off. Um, so here it is. Hey, everybody. So... Skillshare. They are bosses. And today's particular little excerpt is actually to do with stock market trading and how it works. But but let's let's just begin, you know, from the top, how it works. Skillshare.com, pretty straightforward, literally as it's spelled. Uh, and don't forget the link in the description below. But uh, here it is, Sam. You all know my name by now, hopefully. Uh, and, and basically, it's just a nice little convenient compact point where they've got all your videos in one place and they look really slick. Um, you've got literally everything that you could ever want to use or learn or develop. And the quality of the courses are a world-class top-notch. So, you know, uh, nothing too much to worry about here in terms of getting literally the best that you can get. Uh, and then there's so many different things. Just literally type it in. And the thing that I typed in, uh, as it's something that I'm doing quite a lot of, although I'm not going to share with you my investments because, well, you know, I think there's like a law against it or something, but is uh, stock market trading. So uh, <laughs> so this guy, Braylon uh, Pinckney, uh, who is the penny stock king, um, which, by the way, is awesome for gains and losses. So, you know, you got to get it right. <laughs> But he goes through this brilliant course here in terms of how to day trade. Um, he points out it's not easy. Uh, and then there's different things that you can do here in terms of strategies and tools and analysis that helps you in terms of how you, um, how you do day trading. Uh, and literally, if you look at the course here, um, it gives you all the different insights you need and basically will help set you off if you want to um, learn how to trade the stock market. Now, some of you might be like, well, look, come on, people, I know the basic stuff there. But if I type it, just type in stock market, here we go. Right, there you go. Look at all this stuff. Getting started for, for stock markets. Um, you know, millennia investors. Um, invest in stocks like Warren Buffett, you know. Stock market fundamentals. But uh, essentially, it helps you to make more considered investments as opposed to just running around blind like what I do most of the time. Um, so easily, uh, brilliant courses, a wealth. I mean, you saw them, hundreds, thousands of courses. Uh, and on top of that, you know, all put it together in a nice, convenient way. So here's the cool thing. So thank you to Skillshare for, for sponsoring this video. But if you look in the description below, you will find a uh, link. Click on that link and then boom, away you go, away you fly even. And uh, you can sign up, you get a free trial, uh, and then it's it's super, super cheap every month, just $10 a month. I know loads of people do it, pay for it, friends of mine do it, uh, and then you get value. And like I say, once you finish with one, you can just keep going and going and going and get more and more and more. Probably one of the best value subscriptions if you want to learn to do literally anything. So check out the link in the description below, get yourself a free trial. Um, first, a thousand people to do that, get it, so don't leave it. They will go uh, and uh, and try it out today. Anyway, thank you very much. Okay, well, anyway, thanks for that. I, 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 you're still here because you're a loyal fan. So congratulations for making it this far in my video. <laughs> um, I think I wanted to share with you kind of where I'm at and the journey I've been on, et cetera, et cetera. Tiny little bit of history and then the exciting where the next step is. Um, so 2018 happened, and that was when I lost my job, um, which kind of was a... I, I didn't have a choice in it, but it was a great relief that I did indeed lose my job. Um, you know, the money was good, the people I worked with were great, but I didn't like the job fundamentally. And so it was a great relief, really, when they when they got rid of me. And that was when I decided to focus on my YouTube channel. 
beginning of 2019, looking good. And then it all just unraveled badly. Um, because that was also the time when Dota, which was already a bit in decline, continued to plummet into oblivion. And unfortunately, my, I didn't have enough help with me, that's true. Uh, but also, I guess my skills, my marketing, my focus, my abilities weren't quite up to scratch. And unfortunately, I just couldn't make a salary out of doing Dota. I just couldn't earn enough money. And I think maybe actually it wasn't a good time for me to try and do that as a YouTuber. Um, but it had me realize that actually I had to kind of draw a line of, of thinking that, you know, while I still will do YouTube, it won't be like my major career, as it were. Um, and, and probably not doing Dota videos, um, you, you know, but, but, you know, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Um, now, by the way, don't switch off just yet. Cause you're like, well, if it's not going to do Dota anymore, well, that's it. Good day, sir. Um, <laughs> There is more to this. Um, so I so I started doing some soul searching after, you know, basically failing at YouTube and not being able to make it work. Um, and that deep soul searching got me onto my spiritual side. I was like, wow, let's do all this stuff. Uh, and I thought maybe per pursuing a career, doing things like that, like in, you know, in religion or whatever, would be a thing for me. And then one of the things that came pretty clear quite quickly was... No, no, it's not going to be a career for me. <laughs> Ain't that the way. Um, so it, it kind of ironic, really. It's like I, I got more spiritual to find out that I need to be less spiritual. <laughs> so, so there you go. And, and But something came out of the ether of, of that. Um, and I, I suppose the timing was pretty good because there was the uh, general election in the UK of 2019 or Boris Johnson's famous get Brexit done thing, which then led to a conservative landslide election victory. And it was right about that time that actually, when I thought about it, I actually have always been very political. And you've seen it in my other videos as well. Like, oh yeah, I'm really angry about this. In particular, and, and there's a couple of things that get my go. Obviously one, you know, human rights violations, B, deprivation of democracy, and then C, you know, free speech. Those are the, the, the three things. <laughs> and a lot of you are like, oh, great, another stereotypical white guy on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry to play to the playbook, you know. But, uh, but it's true, you know, these are things that I think affect me, affect us all. And I think human rights, democracy, and free speech are probably three bedrocks of a civilized and, you know, good society I suppose but we won't get too much into it because already I'm opening a massive can of worms politically. Key thing is I felt like I needed to pursue politics more and, and be more involved with that kind of stuff um, and so that basically is now the new direction I'm heading, heading into my life. So it was YouTube, then it was religion, um, both of those got crossed out pretty quickly, well not so much the YouTube but definitely the religion thing. Uh, and now I'm moving very, very heavily into politics. Um, and I, I think I, I actually, it's the first time I'm kind of kicking myself now where I'm like, this is totally and utterly a right fit for me. And the more I do it, the more I realize, oh my gosh, I do want to be involved in politics and this is me. Um, and so that's kind of been the main thing that I suppose I'm announced to you, which is basically, or the TLDR of this, I suppose, is, hey guys, I'm going into politics. Now, um, instantly, if you're in the UK, or even if you're not, you'll be going, well, hold on there, good boy. Which political party? You're not, you know, with the evil guys. Um, and the, uh, the, the truth is, I might be, depending on what your political persuasions are. Now, I must stress, I am actually quite moderate in my views. So, providing you're not, like, really, really far on one side or the other on the political spectrum. If you're somewhere in the moderate middle, then I think it's quite easy for me to find um, common ground. But if you're like bordering on communism or bordering on fascism, we're not gonna get along very well. Although to be fair, I love democracy, human rights and free speech. So why would those two work? Um, 
but but nonetheless, you know, that's kind of my thing. But you know, there are lots of people who are sort of left leaning, right leaning, in the middle, uh, and I those are the kind of people that I would hope to gain common ground with. Um, it's just when people go off to extremes or do extreme stuff, in my opinion, that's when I tend to get a bit irritated. Um, so, so, you know, it's, it, it's kind of one of those sort of things, but, but that's what I'm doing. And, and basically it, it's been really exciting and great. And a lot of the skills I've learned and the experiences I've had doing Dota have how lead me to those kind of points. Um, so, uh, so what's next? What, what to look out for? Well, uh, obviously, uh, you know, I've not completely given up on Dota and there will be other videos. Um, some will be about the political direction that I'm going in and some will be good old Dota, and some may be related to other gaming videos as well. But I'm not quote unquote going away, uh, but more just, you know, trying other things as it were. So what I would love you to do um, is obviously click, click on the Skillshare link below, <laughs> uh, but also perhaps more importantly, um, no, not more importantly, the Skillshare link is things. But if you want to know what's happened to me or want to find out my next steps or who I've aligned myself, I have also left another link down below as well. Um, and that will give you an idea of, uh, of where I'm going and what's happening. So um, anyway, so uh, there you go. I would love to hear your political views as well. Um, that's always interesting for me to engage with. Um, but all in all, that's where Good Boy is at. That's what's happening. And of course... Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Please like the video and comment below. Tell me what you think. Much love, everyone. Take care. Goodbye.